Hi everyone, this is Azu News and we're happy to be back with the latest news for you. Thailand former Prime Minister submitted a request for a royal pardon. Outgoing Justice Minister Wisanu Kriangam said Thailand's former Premier Thaksin Shinawatra has submitted a request for a royal pardon, his latest move in a long-running power struggle with the country's establishment. Thaksin, Thailand's most famous politician, made a dramatic homecoming last week after 15 years abroad where he lived in a self-exile to avoid prison. This month's event have fueled speculation that Thaksin has struck a deal with his bitter rivals in the conservative establishment and royalist military which ousted his parties in coup in 2006 and 2014, at the time accusing him and his parties of corruption and disloyalty to the powerful monarchy. Taksin denied those allegations and has rejected talk of a deal with the generals. A representative of the 74-year-old Taksin declined to comment when asked by Reuters about his pardon request. If royal pardon is not granted, Taksin will have to wait two years to submit another request. Factory fire kills 16 people in the Philippines. Fire authorities said a fire at a residential and warehouse property killed 16 people and injured three in the Philippine capital. According to authorities, the fire started before sunrise at a two-story building which was used as a warehouse and workers' housing for a t-shirt printing business who added that the fire was put out after three hours. Investigators are still investigating the cause of the incident. Fires are common in the Philippines, with substandard construction and poor enforcement of building regulations being blamed as the causes of deadly fires. Japanese nuclear engineer calls for an end to nuclear contaminated water discharge. A retired Toshiba expert on nuclear plant design, formerly involved with the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, called for an end to Japan's ongoing nuclear contaminated water discharge. <laughs> Japan started discharging nuclear contaminated water from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant into the Pacific Ocean. In an exclusive interview with the China Central Television, CCTV, Shiro Ogura, who worked on the design on the Daiichi reactors, pointed out that the marine pollution is not reversible at any cost and Japan should immediately halt the discharge of nuclear contaminated water. Disregarded domestic and foreign questioning and protest, the Japanese government decided in April 2021 to filter and dilute the nuclear contaminated water from the Fukushima plant and began to discharge it into the sea on August 24, 2023. This process is expected to last 20 to 30 years until the nuclear power plant is scrapped. Chinese ambassador says Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is an outcome of friendship between China and Indonesia. Chinese ambassador to Indonesia, Lu Kang, said the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is an outcome of the friendship between China and Indonesia, demonstrating rapid development of bilateral ties. It already becomes a flagship project. To be honest, from the very beginning, it was a product of the friendship between China and Indonesia. It was the first time for China to cooperate with our foreign partners to set up this high-speed railway system with China's own technology on their own homeland. So you know that actually that reflected the high level of the partnership. And also in the past years, this project witness what demonstrates the development, the fast development of this bilateral relationship. According to Lu, both countries share a lot of similar background, common interests and aspirations on the way to urbanization and to their respective national rejuvenation. We also explore possibility of some further development, like, for example, digital economy, e-commerce, 
smart cities, green technology, health, and also what our Indonesia friends most aspire, that is the downstream in industrialization. And we also expect more people-to-people -people exchanges, which is most important. He pointed out that the growth of the bilateral relationship between China and Indonesia is not only owing the strategic guidance of the top leaders of the two countries, but also comes as a result of the common interest and common aspiration of the two countries. The hell anticipated Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway, linking the Indonesian capital and the country's four largest cities, is expected to be inaugurated soon. Blue Supermoon rises over Vietnamese capital. Residents of Hanoi flocked to the city's west lake to watching the blue supermoon rising over the water. When I was a kid, I often looked at the moon with my granny, but it was quiet far away. But today is the first time that I see the moon is so big, almost as if I can grab with my hands. The moon is big and different today, and I get to look through the telescope and take these wonderful photos. <laughs> I came to this lake today, and here is the supermoon blending in with the lake view. It's much more beautiful than the last supermoon that I saw. When I look at the moon today, which is larger and brighter than usual, I feel like I love Hanoi more. The supermoon is a phenomenon where the moon appears to be much more bigger than usual, as its orbital path is closer to Earth and appears to be about 7% and brighter than a typical full moon. Blue moons are the second full moon in the calendar month, but a blue moon supermoon is a rare phenomenon, and the next will be in 2032. Japanese Prime Minister lodged complaints to North Korean over missile launches. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said Japan has lodged a protest against North Korea after it had fired two ballistic missiles. I have asked to check safety and provide information from the missile launches. At the moment, we have not confirmed any damages. The state media reported North Korea conducted a simulated scorched earth nuclear strike on targets across South Korea in reaction to allied exercises that it said amounted to plans for a preemptive nuclear attack by the United States. North Korea fired the short-range ballistic missiles into the sea hours after the U.S. deployed B-1B bombers for Allied air drills. The latest launch came a day before South Korea and the U.S. wrap up 11 days of combined military drills, which Pyongyang has long denounced as a war rehearsal. Malaysian Zoo bids farewell to two giant pandas. Malaysian paid adieu to two giant panda cubs born in the Giant Panda Conservation Center in Zunegara in the capital city of Kuala Lumpur before boarding on their COVID-19 pandemic delayed return trip to China. All, all the children in, the, in Malaysia love to see the panda because all this while most, most of them only can see the panda in the screen of television. Now since they come to Malaysia they all have chances to see the panda in front of their own eyes. And at this moment, the, most of them, especially the staff, feel so sad that uh, they are leaving the country. Zunegara in a statement said that the cubs will remain in their hearts and minds through good memories and strong bonds that have been developed between the zoo staff, handlers and visitors at the giant panda family. Local residents, both children and parents, as well as the staff members working in the zoo, gathered on both sides of the road along which the vans carrying the two panda cubs will drive past, waving goodbye to the beloved cute siblings. Thank you very much. We will be back soon with the most and latest updated news. Have a lovely week days ahead.